Why in the world would she live with her daughter if she didn't absolutely, absolutely have to? You know, you're so lucky to have such a close relationship with your daughter. She wants to know why we're living together. Don't you have a close relationship with Katie? Uh, she's not going to tell me. Oh, we're close. But I wouldn't risk our friendship by living with her. <laughs> your daughter wouldn't live with you for a million dollars. I bet Greg was glad to see you. How well does she know Greg? Well, he's not the effusive type. <laughs> he told you to get lost. But he must have been thrilled to see his niece. Oh, he was. He was. I knew it. Would you mind if I had another cup of coffee? Please. Uh, I'll get it for you. Oh, no, no, no. That's OK. I'll get it. I'd rather you go home. <sighs> Just holler if you can't find anything. What is she doing here? What does she want? Here goes nothing. You know, it's a small world. It turns out I know some neighbors of yours from Long Island. Really? Who are they? Oh, the uh, Smith uh, Joneses or the Smith Johnsons? Smith Jacksons. That's it. Uh, yes, they said they lived uh, right next door to you on Samuel's path. Uh, uh, was it 1430, 1440? Uh, a brick house? Our address was 640 Miller Place. 640 Miller Place. Yes, that's right. She's fishing. But why does she want to know my old address? It's not exactly a state secret. Well, I said I'd say hello if I saw you. Patricia Smith Jackson died six years ago. And her husband ran off with his aerobics instructor to Bimini. You're a bitch for letting me bury myself like that. It must be a different pair of Smith Jacksons. Because they swore they knew you. Right. And I'm the Queen of England. So how long are you staying? None of your business. My plans aren't set yet. She's staying. But why? Why stay here when she doesn't know a soul and her brother won't give her the time of day? How about you? Oh, I've been here so long, I practically feel like a native. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why does she stay here when all her friends are back east? I know why. She's after her brother's money. My word. She's after my brother's money. Anne. Claudia, what are you doing here? I came to see Greg. Same as you, I guess. Actually, I'm here to see my daughter. Oh. Didn't you uh, see her this morning at the apartment? I missed her when I came in this morning. You know, I was telling uh, Kate how well you and Paige get along living together. Decided maybe we should try it, so I asked her to move in with me. She'd probably rather live in California, wouldn't she? Oh, no, I meant here. I just took a teaching post at the university. How nice. Well, that's why I'm here, to get Greg's recommendation as to where to live. Well, I'm sure he'll have lots of suggestions. Why don't you come with me to see Greg? Then maybe you and I can catch a movie or do something to celebrate my new job. Oh, I have errands to run. Well, maybe uh, you and Greg and I can have dinner tonight. Hmm? I have plans. Well, you know, I'm just dying to go out with you two. Well, we'll have to do it sometime. Why don't I schedule it with Greg right now? Why don't you let me handle that? Fine. Well, I'll call you. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. She didn't want me to ask Greg because he dumped her. <laughs> oh, Lord. What a surprise. Come in. Thank you. Can't see someone's reaction over the telephone, so... Sorry to just drop in like this, but I was in the neighborhood, and I was wondering if Paige was in. What a lame excuse. She's at the hospital. Oh. Must have just missed her, darn. Here goes nothing. Did she tell you about the wedding? She knows. The wedding? Yes. How much does she know? Paige? Yes. No, Dracula's daughter. She doesn't know anything. She's fishing. 
Well, who is she marrying? No one, if I can help it. She accepted Greg's proposal this morning. That cuts you out of his will. Well, isn't that good news? She didn't know. Well, I wanted to congratulate her in person. <laughs> and I'm the Queen of England. How sweet. Good evening. Hello. That guy again, who is he? <laughs> Nick, this is Greg Sumner's sister, Claudia Whitaker. I told you about her. Remember the nosy cow? Similarly called the laughing cow, as of. Pleased to meet you. Claudia, this is Nick Scalacci. Scalacci? I think the page has mentioned you. You, you met her in... Uh... He's a friend of mine. Ah. Oh, Mr. Scalacci, what a pleasure it is to meet you. Oh, Annie, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, after the wedding, Paige will be your sister-in-law. <laughs> but what'll that make me? Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something to call you. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck are you doing here? Annie, I told you you didn't have to bother attending any of the board meetings. How else can I keep an eye on you? I, I take my fiduciary responsibility seriously, as all our trustees do. You can't even spell fiduciary. F-I-D-U-C-I-A-R-Y. And I have an idea or two of my own I'd like to contribute. You haven't had an idea since you were 12. Why don't you submit them in writing and I'll make sure they get the board's full attention. Well, I was hoping to take advantage of our special rapport. Don't get greedy. You already draw a salary that's a bit difficult to justify to the trustees. Cheapskate. I, I wasn't thinking of myself. It, it's another wonderful cause for the Foundation Funds. Let me guess. The Nick and Ann Relief Fund for six foot four Italian lovers. Is this a nonprofit group? Yes. If you mean, are we broke? And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the proposal. You don't really want to know what I'm thinking. I'll give it my fullest attention. Thank you. You must be desperate for money to try something like this. This is a wonderful project. Thank you. She has something up her sleeve. I see no problem in getting it funded. Well, when can I get the money? When hell freezes over. Well, we can write you a check as soon as the paperwork is in order. The paperwork? Well, I'd write it myself in a minute, uh, if it were up to me, but you see, my hands are tied, procedurally speaking. Uh, you see, Annie, you just joined the board. We want to avoid any hint of impropriety or anything that could draw attention to our uh, special relationship. Well, what's the procedure? She's going to make me jump through hoops. Big, big hoops. Well, first, our uh, legal department will go over the contract with your lawyers. Of course. Well, then we run it past the uh, preliminary review staff, and I'll make sure that report is favorable. And then it goes to the full board for this first reading. When will that be? Never, if I can help it. September. That late? That soon. If it's humanly possible, I'll try and squeeze it into the August meeting. Whoops. <laughs> we don't have a meeting in August, do we? So, well, rest assured, I will try and get this on the agenda sooner. And, of course, I will give it my uh, strongest personal endorsement. This way you'll never see a penny. This way I'll never see a penny. Thank you very much, Claudia. Pleasure was all. What did you do with all your money? It's hard being poor. 